Now we're going to look at what you do with your arrays um, when you're multiplying two two-digit numbers. Because we found four partial products. And yes, we can build with models and we can draw arrays. But this is an easier way to do the same thing without using a model or um, drawing a big array. First of all, in honor of Star Wars coming out on Friday, let's use this very fancy lightsaber pointer for this one. Same model as before, 12 times 13. Here is your array that you drew using um, the 100 block, two 10 blocks, three 10 blocks, and six ones to get the answer. This time we're going to be using just a simple uh, box method with rows and columns to find out what the answer is. So we'll start with 12, the factor 12. And we're going to break it down into its expanded form, which is why we've been practicing that so much. So 12 is really 10 plus 2. So at the top row, we're going to write 10, and we'll write 2 in the bottom row. Or rather, you can just write down the number 12 in this way, 10 plus 2. You don't need to write the sub-step 10 plus 2 up here. And for the second factor in this problem, it's 10 plus 3. So now we've got the problem set up. All right, now this time, let's start with this quadrant here, which means we're going to multiply 10 times 10. Just pretend this is a regular rectangle, okay? 10 length, 10 width. We multiply to get the area. It's 100, okay? Um, is that getting a little too distracting? Let's change that. So for the next one, we're going to multiply 2 times 10 and get an answer in here, which is 20. Now we're going to take care of 10 times 3, 30. And finally, we're going to multiply 2 times 3, which is 6. So now we have our 1, 2, 3, 4 partial products, just like we did before. And just like before, we're going to take the first partial product, move it over here, the second partial product, the third partial product, I guess I kind of did them out of order because I like to do biggest number to smallest number. Doesn't matter how you add them up, right? And then we add them all up, which means that we're going to add the ones column and get six, the tens column and get five, and the hundreds column and get one. So our answer is 156, just like it was last time. So let's compare this table with the array that we drew yesterday. If you'll notice, 10 times 10, well, that's simply the hundreds cube. Where did this come from? Well, that's the 10 times 2. And here is your 10 times 3. Finally, here is your 2 times 3. So all these partial products do exist in the array. But we don't need to draw all this. As long as you can remember this is what you're doing, this is all you need to do. Draw the rectangle, draw the rows and columns, multiply every grid, and you got your answer which was the magnificent 156. So once again, this is what you're doing. You're building an array out of base 10 blocks, but all we have to do is draw this little rectangle, find the little partial products, and add them all up. It gives us our final product. Um, in the next video, I'll be showing you how your parents used to do this kind of thing old school where they would do 13 times 12. And you'll see that, guess what? It's also related to this same little array. Until next time, good luck.